A second wave that's proving more brutal than the first, the number of deaths rising ever higher. And tonight, the Prime Minister admitted the worst is yet to come. These figures are appalling and, of course, they... Uh, it, it, we think of the, the suffering that uh, each one of those uh, deaths represents to their, to their family, to their, to their friends. It looks as though the, the rates of infection in the country overall uh, may now be, uh, be peaking or flattening, but they're not flattening very fast. Could more lives have been saved, though? The family of Tony Clay, a grandfather from Yorkshire who died in the first wave, thinks so. He caught Covid in March, returning from France, where he was living, when there were no border controls and no advice against such travel. If there had been, his daughter says he would never have risked it. I'm angry. My, my dad could still be alive. He was only 60 when he died. He was a young and fit and healthy man um, and he still had many years left to live. Um, the fact that you know decisions like that were taken so lightly or the wrong decisions were made and it cost not just my dad's life but you know thousands of people's lives. Extraordinarily it seems the Home Secretary agrees. In a secret recording of her talking to Tory supporters released today she said this. Should we close our borders early? The answer is yes. Um, I was mad because to close them last March. In the Commons Labour seized on the apparent cabinet split over the issue. Why did he overrule the Home Secretary who claims that she said last March that we should shut our borders. Mr Speaker, we've instituted one of the toughest border regimes in the world and it was only last March that he, along with many others in his party, uh, were continuing to support uh, an open border approach. But would shutting the borders in March actually have worked? This epidemiologist says it was already too late. The infection was already very well established in the UK in March. To make a substantial difference to the spread of infection, it would have had to be probably early February or even late January. Questions, no doubt, for the inquiry when it comes. Meanwhile, the NHS battles on. Libby Vina, News at 10, Westminster.